Okay, people, are you ready for your first bit of animation? We've been kind of doing animation, right? More transitions, we've been doing this, okay? The whole page kind of transitions over. Now what we wanna do, that's the entire page. Animation is individual objects. Are you ready? How do I get there? <laughs> Here we go, okay? Now are you ready? Oh, look at that. That falls down, the arrow moves across, it fades in. Uh, that is animation in Adobe XD, and you and me are gonna do that right now. Let's jump in. All right, let's make that animation. So let's look at this little arrow here. It's our confirmation page. Um, the way this works is you need two pages. It's kind of weird. It's not like normal animation if you're from, I don't know, Adobe Flash Days or Adobe Animate or After Effects or anything <laughs> that has animation. This is a non-timeline uh, animation. We kind of uh, duplicate artboards and connect them up. If it seems weird, it's a little bit weird, a um, little bit clunky, but it works. Hey, So what we're gonna do is on this first page, I'm gonna have this arrow, mine's in two pieces. Okay, I'm gonna have it over this side. Um, keep it on the artboard for the moment. We'll do the basics in this video, and then in the next video, we'll go a little bit more extreme, or mainly show you the stuff that might caught, catch you out. Um, so we're gonna have the this arrow on the side, okay, and we duplicate this artboard. You can select the name, uh, you can right click it, can you duplicate it? Copy, paste. I just use the uh, Command C or Control Z on a PC and V. Copy, paste. So we've got two of them. Uh, hyphen one. We should probably call it something better, but hey, hyphen one's working for me. And what we need to do, the way this works, there's a couple of like things that have to happen. A, you need more than one artboard, okay? And the other one is the thing that you want to animate needs to be named the same on both sides. And in our case, I want mine grouped because I don't want to animate the arrow separately from the stalky bit, that's up to you. So I'm gonna select both of them, holding shift, okay, and hit, uh, well, hit, I'm gonna hit group. So you can right click it or go Command G, Control G on a PC to group them. And over here, this one's called group 13, and this one's called polygon one and path one or path two. So that's not gonna work. It looks for the name, so that's how it does its magic. Okay, and we can use something called auto animate, and it won't work without it. So if I group these two, so again, group them over here. It's, one's called 13, okay, and this one's called 14. So that's not gonna work. So let's call them both 13. It's handier if you name them before you duplicate the artboard. I guess, uh, but I want to show you the hard way so you <laughs> so you can do it the easy way later on. So these are the same. Uh, something needs to be different. I'm moving this one across. If you hold shift while you're dragging it, it'll do it in a straight line. Okay, and now nothing's going to happen. We need to add the animation. So let's click on the arrow. Let's switch to prototype mode. Okay, I don't want to get too far into shortcuts, but can you see up here? If I hover above it on my Mac, it's option one, option two. There's a lot of when you're doing stuff. Um, on a PC, it's Alt, one and two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Switching between design and prototype. Or just click the button. Okay, so prototype, I'm gonna say you, go over here. And the magic happens when, by default, it's on transition. And that's what we did in the last videos. Okay, we transitioned the whole page, it slid across and we added easing. In this case, we're gonna go from uh, type to auto animate. This just looks for the same name and fills in all the gaps for us. Okay, so it looks for, um, was it group 13? Okay, and looks for group 13 and just tried to combine the two. So let's just preview it. So let's click on the name confirmation um, and let's hit play. And what I might do is just, we're gonna do this a few times. So I'm gonna leave this open permanently here. So let's give it a tap. Look at that, we did it. <laughs> hey, first bit of animation. Congratulations, you give it a go. Um, so yeah, there's animation. That's the basics anyway. Um, well, I'm gonna use my arrow keys to go back. Okay, I'm gonna go down here, purchase, click, oh, moves across. So it's kind of working, it's not what I want. I want it to automatically go across. So let's let's do that thing next. So at the moment we've got this, when it is tapped, do this auto animate to this other page called confirmation two. It's not what I want. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is break that link, either member drag it kind of back off, and <laughs> this is the way I do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the whole page Instead of just the arrow, because I don't want you to click that, I want the whole page to go here, okay? It should remember the last thing you've done. It's gonna say whole page, auto animate when it's tapped, okay? And it'll work, let's go over here. So let's click on this one, down to checkout. Okay, and when I click anywhere, it moves across. Still not quite right, okay? What I wanna do on this page is, I want it to auto animate, but I don't want it to tap. I just wanna say after a certain amount of time, and in my case, zero seconds. So from this page to this page, after zero seconds, auto animate to this other page. 
That makes sense, kind of. All right, so check out. You click. Oh, click. Hey, look at us. We did it. It auto animated. Okay. So for the user, if we go back a couple of arrows, they only see one arrow moving across. The trouble is, it's not really trouble, it's just the way that XD have decided to do it, is that they have decided that every keyframe is an actual artboard and that's how you animate it. So complex animation inside of XD is troublesome. And um, I've done animations where there can be 10 or 20 of these artboards and it's meh, not great. Okay, there are other tools for doing animation for the web. Okay, things like Adobe Animate is a good one. Okay, but hey, we're at that prototype um, place. Um, also, should, I should note that we're doing animation in here. We shouldn't really be doing it, um, you know, at wireframe, but ah, this is a course and it's fun. Um, I wouldn't be doing animation at this stage just because it's not the time to be delighting customers, okay? These sorts of animations or micro interactions or little kind of success things should happen later on, the kind of final developments. It's the icing on the cake, not the wireframe. We need to learn these things for this course. So moving arrow it is. So we've done movement. You can do lots of things. So you can decide that this is, I'm gonna switch back to design mode. I'm gonna make that smaller. Well, that didn't work because it's trying to kind of keep our stroke size and line it all up and be fancy. Okay, by default, we'll look at this again later on, responsive resize. That is fancy. It's trying to do some stuff that we don't want it to do right now. So with this selected, I'm gonna say, turn that off thing. So I'm going to say you there, and it's going to be at the bigger size over here. Let's give that a go. Let's click on this artboard here. Click on purchase. Hooray! It gets bigger and moves across. You can do other things. You can decide on rotation. I'm going to decide to do it, I don't know, it's going to start 180 from where it is. It's going to flip around. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, did you see it there? I missed it. You, back one, back one more. You, way, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you get the idea, right? I don't like that. Uh, remember to rotate things, you can type it in over here, but if you hover just outside your little, got my selection tool, okay, hover just outside of here, you can do it kind of manually. I'm gonna turn mine off because that looked not desirable. And um, the other thing, so size you can do, and um, you can do rotation, you can do opacity. So what I can't do is I can't delete it from here. If I delete it from this side, okay, hoping that it's gone from here and it will appear over here and maybe magically fade in, it's not going to. And uh, so you, let's go to purchase. And it kind of just appears. It doesn't know what to do. It goes, I don't know where the original one is. So I'm just going to fade in. <laughs> That's the default. Okay, so what we need to do is undo that is we don't delete it. We just turn the appearance, this opacity here, turn it right down or as much as or as little as you like. So it's gonna start there and move over to this one. Let's give that a go now. Check out, ready? Ooh, fades in and moves across. Now we haven't played around with easing, so let's have a little look. Confirmation page is, I'm gonna switch to prototype and it's going to ease in and out, which looks quite nice. You can ease maybe out, okay? Easing out is kind of like, imagine adding some sticky glue to either the in or the out. The out is this side, kind okay, of the finished part of the animation, and the ease in is the other side. So if I ease out, if I click on this one, and so go here, watch it. It's gonna start fast and then gluey, sticky out. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it might be hard to see your easing because the duration is quite short. So let's go up to one second. Um, so let's, oh, you saw it there, didn't you? You, you, can you see it kind of starts fast and go slower at the end. I'm hating my animation, by the way. <laughs> okay, it's the size thing is kind of killing me. Um, so let's go to design and undo that size. Where are you? It's hard to see it. Just kind of guessing at the size. Yeah, it looks nicer. And um, so have a play around with the easing on your own. Okay, let's have a look, prototype. Um, let's have a look, ease out. Have a play around with them. You know what bounce does. Have a look at snap and wind up. And most of the time, if you're like unsure, just do ease in and out. Puts glue on both ends, so it's kind of like slow at both ends and it goes fast in the middle and often it looks really nice. So you, you. That is often a nice kind of natural, natural and a digital kind of sense movement. So the rules for animation, you need at least two artboards and on those artboards you need something that changes okay that has the same name you could let's do let's just do one little example so we've got two artboards this thing here is called 
Icon Twitter over here. This one's called Icon Twitter. Great, so I don't have to change it. If you've actually manually named things, it kind of remembers it and goes, oh, he probably wants to keep that name. Whereas that was a random group or a random line, it just duplicates it and you end up with group 10, 11, 12, those sorts of things. So same name, that's the rule. Two outboards, something between the two. And in our case, let's do it bouncing down here. So it's just gonna move down. That's the only difference. Okay, and are you ready for it? We are going to both delight you and bring up another problem that I, uh, I unintentionally wanna cover. So bounce, you ready? Come on. Oh, look at that. You see, you're like, oh, that is good for that though. But the arrow's weird. Can I do it separately? It's kind of pretty rudimentary as in the animation all, the whole artboard has to do its thing. So you can't apply separate bits of easing and animation to individual parts, mostly. I'll show you in the next video. We'll go a little bit more deep dive. Okay, but two artboards, they have to be named the same. Something different, size, you can use color, you can use rotation, you can use opacity. Okay, and have to be named the same. Have I said that? Anyway, uh, that is it for this video. Let's jump into the next one. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.